Good morning, students. Today we are going to read the first chapter, Standard Five Dreamcatcher English Reader. Tom White washes. See, this is a short extract excerpt from Mark Twain's novel, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. This fence scene is one of the prominent scenes of this story. Tom was tasked or given a task by his Aunt Polly to whitewash this fence as a punishment. Let's see whether Tom has actually taken his punishment or did something else. Before starting the chapter, let's see who is the writer of this story. So this story was written by Mark Twain. M A R K Mark Twain T W A I N. Who is the writer of the story? Mark Twain. Let's see the main character of the story. Since the story is named Tom Whitewashes. So Tom means Tom Sawyer is the main character of the story. There are other characters also. Aunt Polly. She is Tom's aunt. Sid. Sid Sawyer is Tom's half brother. Mary. She is the daughter of Aunt Polly and Tom's cousin. Jim. The little boy who works for Aunt Polly. Ben Rogers and other boys are Tom's friends. Now let's read the story. Tom Sawyer lived with his aunt Polly, his cousin Mary and his half-brother Sid. Sid was a quiet boy but Tom loved adventure and was always up to mischief. So when aunt Polly found out from Sid that he had played hooky from school and gone swimming instead, she decided to punish him by keeping him in on a holiday. So let's see what is the meaning and what happened up to this point. See here, Tom Sawyer lived with his Aunt Polly. So Aunt Polly, his cousin Mary and his half-brother Sid, they lived together with Tom Sawyer. Now Sid was a quiet boy. I have underlined here the word cousin. Cousin means the children of the auntie or uncle. Half brother here. I have underlined here half brother. Half brother means the brother who has either father or the mother. One of the parent common. And his name was Sid. So Sid was the brother of Tom Sawyer. And they lived together with Aunt Polly and her daughter Mary. Sid was a quiet boy according to Tom. Means Sid was a shy boy. He was not as active or mischievous like Tom. But for Tom, he was opposite. He loved adventure. Adventure means unusual or exciting experiences. And like small children, he was always up to mischief. Mischief means playful behavior. So when Aunt Polly found out from Sid, now Sid told Aunt Polly that Tom hasn't gone to school. He has bunked school and he had played hooky. Hooky means he had bunked school. Hooky actually means played tront. So here what he did? He went for school telling Aunt that I am going to school but actually he went for swimming and missed his school. So when Aunt Polly came to know that Tom missed his school on Friday, she decided that as Saturday was a holiday, so she will punish him there. Okay, so keeping him in means he, she will make him busy in some work on a holiday. Holiday means the day for playing like you people have holiday. So what you do on holidays? You usually play or do the activities which please you. But here Aunt Polly was planning a punishment for Tom. Tom Sawyer. 
Now let's read the next para. That's how Tom found himself faced with the task of whitewashing the fence on a warm summer Saturday morning. Everyone else, when everyone else was out playing or swimming, he looked at 30 yards of broad, 9 feet high. See this fence? It is 30 yard broad and 9 feet high. Fence, his heart sank. Life to him seemed hollow and existence but a burden. See here what happened. Now, as on Saturday, like it was a pleasant day, a holiday for everybody. And Tom also must have planned something. But what happened? Aunt Polly planned a punishment. So Tom has to face the punishment. And what was the punishment? He has to whitewash the fence. Means he has to paint this fence which is 30 yards broad. Yards is a measurement which is equal to 3 feet and this is 30 yards uh, uh, long and 9 feet high. Fence he has to paint, paint with whitewash, white color. Okay and he was looking at the fence. It was a big fence for such a small boy like Tom Sawyer and he has to paint it on a Saturday morning or holiday. When everyone else means all his friends would be playing or they will go for swimming and other works. Now as you can see this fence is very big fence and Tom is facing a punishment. Think of your own self. What you have done if you face the same kind of punishment? Hmm. Whether you took the punishment and painted the fence for a whole day or you did something like Tom did. What do you think? Unlike normal people. Unlike normal people. What normal people will do? They will take the punishment. Put down their chin and do the work. Spend a full day of Saturday working or painting the fence. But what do you think about Tom? He is a mischievous and naughty boy. A clever one too. What do you think? He has taken his punishment. Or not? Let's see in the next paragraph. See what happened. Looking at the fence, his heart sank. Life to him seemed hollow and existence but a burden. Now consider this. This is a pleasant day. A springtime actually. And you can see the birds chirping. There is a pleasant sunny day. And everybody else is filled with happiness. All the children have made some plan. Yes, they would. Uh, they are gathering their friends. They would go playing and sounds of happiness are coming from everywhere. But what about Tom? Tom has been punished by his aunt, Aunt Polly. So, as you can see, he is carrying a bucket of whitewash and a brush with a long handle. And he has to paint this fence. So, naturally, Tom wanted to play too. He is a very small boy, but he became very, very, very sad. The more he looked at the fence, the more sadder he became. So, what happened? His heart was filled with sadness. And he felt that life has no meaning now. He felt hopeless and meaningless at this point of time. As if his life has no meaning. So, he made a sound. This is called sign. Sign, he dipped his brush and passed it along the topmost plank. Repeated the operation, did it again, compared the insignificant whitewashed streak with the far reaching continent of unwhitewashed fence and sat down on a tree box discouraged. He knew it would take him all day to give it just one coat. Hmm. Now, we have finished the first part of this story. So, you are able to answer some questions. So, I am giving you some questions as homework. Who is the writer of the story? Tom White 
white washes who wrote this story tom white washes how was tom feeling on a saturday morning who told aunt polly that tom had played hooky from school what punishment did aunt polly give to tom you have to write all these answers in your fair notebook okay write the date of today and write the answers as homework in your fair english to fair notebook okay